close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And notice what kind of breathing feels good. Shorter breathing or longer breathing, deeper or more shallow, heavier, lighter. You can experiment. See what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now. If you're feeling tired, you may want to breathe in a way that's more energizing. If you're feeling tense, you may want to breathe in a way that's more relaxing. In other words, try to find a place of balance, a place where you feel stable inside. Because that's what we're trying to do as we meditate, is to create a state of stability inside the mind. Because otherwise, the mind goes up and down with the ups and downs of the world. And we look around us, and the world's going up and down and in and out all, all over the place. And if our mind follows the world around like that, we're going to get dizzy, we're going to lose our bearings. And it's going to be a very unpleasant ride. Sometimes it's nice, but a lot of times it, you can drop some, from, from, from some pretty high places down to pretty low places very suddenly. So you want your mind to be in a place of stable balance. So try to find that sense of being balanced right here, right now. And then once you find it, then try to learn how to maintain it. The image they give in the canon is of a person carrying a bowl on his head filled to the brim with oil. And he doesn't want a single drop of the oil to drop out. So you have to have a strong sense of balance and a strong sense of concentration. Have the sense of your inner center. Make that your top priority. What else you do? Because then the world around you can go up and down. But if you can maintain that sense of center like that, you have a good gyroscope inside, then you don't tip over with the world. In other words, you don't start doing unskillful things. Because as we live our life, on the one hand we're receiving the results of our old actions, but we're also creating new actions all the time. And both to read the results of the old things and to create new ones, you have to be in a place of stability. Because it's like you're writing. The messages are going to be sent ahead. And so you want your handwriting to be clear and steady. And if you want to read what's coming in from the past, you have to be in a clear and steady place as well. Otherwise, it's like trying to read a book when you're going up and down on a mountain road in a jeep, and then trying to write your response. It's all going to be garbled. Because it's in the writing of our lives here that we're the ones who are the authors of our lives. We're the ones who create the story of our lives. We've got some storylines coming in from the past, but we're also writing new storylines right now. So you want to make sure you're writing something that's clear and something that's good, something you really do want to live, instead of it being a mess all the time. So try to bring a state of stability into the mind, so you're not going up with the ups of the world and down with the downs of the world. I mean, you have your moments of happiness and pleasure, but you also notice that there are going to be moments of pain, so you're prepared for them. So you don't go riding way up and then way down. You're in a place of stability. It may seem less interesting than running up and down, but it's a lot less wearing. And as I said, you start creating a better life for yourself. You're writing a better story for yourself because you're sitting in a very clear and well-balanced place. And you can see what's right, what's wrong, what sort of things are worth aspiring to, what sort of things are not worth aspiring to. You're a lot clearer when you're in this state of balance right here. And the life you create is a much better life. So work at finding the state of balance inside and then learning how to maintain it in the midst of the rest of the activities of your life. And you find that the life you lead, the life that you're writing right now, is one that you really will want to read down, down into the future. <laughs>